Russia fired more than 70 missiles at Ukraine on Friday in one of its biggest attacks since the start of the war, knocking out power in the second biggest city and forcing Kyiv to implement emergency blackouts nationwide. Three people were killed when an apartment block was hit in central Kyiv. Krivri and another died in shelling in Kherson in the south. Russian installed officials in occupied eastern Ukraine said 12 people had died by Ukrainian shelling. In an evening video address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said... Південь, Схід та Захід. А особливо результативними були бійці 96-ї зенітної ракетної бригади, які прикривають Київську область. Понад 40 ракет терористів було знищено саме в небі центральних районів країни і поблизу Києва. Gita Mohan, our foreign affairs editor, is joining me over the phone line right now. Gita, what do we know about the latest onslaught by the Russians on Ukraine? Well, the fact that uh, it's very harsh winter over there, uh, follow me, Russia trying to gain and take advantage of the fact that uh, Ukraine is at this point in time, at this juncture, suffering from the worst energy crisis, electricity, absolutely short supply. Uh, we also know that the weapons that they were promised are yet to come. Now, the United States of America only uh, yesterday uh, in a statement said that they are finalizing and are close to providing Patriot missile defense system to Ukraine. Uh, a, a conversation that had begun about eight or uh, eight months ago, uh, just after the, a month after the war, uh, Polymy. So the Ukrainian side really waiting for uh, high-tech weapon systems uh, to take on the Russian uh, forces. And Russia, in the meanwhile, taking advantage of uh, winter. And the fact that uh, they can gain ground and advantage at this point in time, at this juncture, even as there are conversations about uh, going back to the negotiating table, to the peace talks, and uh, the world global uh, uh, community is asking the two sides to really look at diplomatic channels to resolve the crisis rather than continue with the war. Kita, but these urges, these appeals have been made by the world community for a while now. Where, because you've covered this from on ground, both sides, Ukraine and Russia, where do you see this ending? Well, the end seems absolutely uh, a, a, a far off uh, 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 reality right now, Polony, because uh, there are territories in eastern Ukraine that are not just now uh, called captured territories by Russia. While they're captured territories, Russia has already announced their secession to, uh, to Russia. And now those uh, uh, captured territories have become Russian territory. And a point that is non-negotiable for Ukraine, uh, uh, these, uh, these territories now have uh, ceded to Russia. And Ukraine is absolutely clear that unless these captured territories are uh, given back to Ukraine and Russian forces destroy their family members. Okay, Gita Mohan there reporting on all the developments that are taking place in Ukraine at the moment. Thank you so much for joining us.